Here in the U.S., measles cases have reached the highest mark in 25 years. More than 700 cases have been confirmed in 22 states. The CDC tells us they are most concerned about people who received the measles vaccine before 1989. Mark Liverman explains. Deb Ivanhoe received her first ever measles vaccine this morning. The 60-year-old from New York couldn't remember if she had ever been vaccinated as a child, so she had her blood tested and discovered she had no immunity against the measles. I've been walking around at risk during this outbreak. Most people born before 1957 have been exposed to measles and have immunity, but Ivanhoe was born a year later when there was no vaccine. That came along in 1963. But even those first vaccine recipients may not be in the clear, according to CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus. The first five years of the vaccine, some batches of it were not very good. None of us really know which batch we got. Health professionals say you can get your blood tested like Ivanhoe or just get the measles booster. It's the less expensive option. And there's another age group that might want to consider a measles booster. From 1968 to 1989, we only gave one shot. Mm -hmm. mm. Then we started giving two shots. So still immunity may be a little low. So far this year, the CDC has confirmed 704 measles cases. That's the largest number since measles was declared eradicated in the U.S. in the year 2000. Most cases have been in unvaccinated children. Kids under five and adults over 20 are more likely to suffer complications. They can get the brain infection. They can you know, actually lead to death. And so it's something that we really need to pay attention to. In two weeks, Ivanhoe's vaccine will be fully effective and she'll be protected from the measles. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York.